In this video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 Warhammer McFarlane Space Marines from 2021. Hi, it's Alex from Frog Lane Studio, where we provide free hacks, hints, tips and tricks to ease your hobby woes. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you want to check out any of the other content we do, links as always are just down below. So with these McFarlane Marines being released in October of 2020, we've had just over a year as a community to stretch our legs and see what amazing conversions we can come up with as a community. As Christmas is a time for reflection, Rather than me looking back at my progress on 2021, instead I turn to the community. If you're interested in McFarlane Marines and aren't already, I thoroughly suggest you go ahead and check out the McFarlane Conversion community that we have on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. With over a thousand members, the community picked their favourite conversions of 2021. Now, I couldn't possibly pick my favourite out of those top 10, so instead, out of fairness, I've listed them in alphabetical order, with of course some honourable mentions at the end. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see whether yours was featured, and if you can let me know in the comments down below which one of those was your favourite, that would be most appreciated. But without further ado, let's get into it. First in on the number 10 slot then is Kyle West's amazing Saturnine Terminator conversion. I'll leave it in Kyle's own words to describe how he went about doing this. I remember the figure when it was first released and I always regretted swapping this model for a couple of Imperial Guard back in the day. So it was when I was looking at the fan art that I saw the color scheme again and fell back in love with this. I'd been planning on doing a Saturnine someday, and so it worked out perfectly doing it with the big models. It took me about a week or so to do the 3D sculpting, and then another week to do the physical sculpts, and finally, about a week or so to paint this guy as well, in between my customers. Carl says, I'm a fan of bringing the old school minis back, and so this was a perfect opportunity to get it in the large McFarlane scale. In on the number nine slot then is Joe Ward and his beautiful wolf spear. Now this model itself was done, Joe informs me, before the wolf spears had an official color scheme. So he's currently working on number two, but the model itself doesn't have that much 3D printing parts. Instead, a lot of this stuff is sculpted from scratch by hand, which is why this guy gets in on the top 10. Look at the sculpting work that's gone into this. The green stuff is beautiful. And then it's backed up by this gorgeous, dark gray, black color scheme. This guy looks so menacing. Joe, congratulations, my man, on this one. Taking the number eight slot then is Joanjo's Space Shark Tiberus special character. If you want a masterclass in 3D sculpting and 3D printed parts, look no further. How do you come up with something like this? It is incredible from top to toe. This guy has been redesigned and re-engineered. You can see that Joanjo is just using the McFarlane Space Marine as a skeleton to strap all of this armor onto. And the finished product is just outstanding. If you look at the artwork, this looks identical to it. So Joanjo, amazing work. Well done to you, mate. I look forward to seeing more sculpts from you in the future. At number seven, we have our very own Lord of Pleasure, Ricky Bond. This is the first of the Chaos Gods we'll be visiting tonight. Ricky says that the converting work alone took over 30 hours, and I'm not surprised. He went old school. Green stuff only on this one. And the end result is this guy is dripping top to toe with kink and detail. Ricky, this is a nice one. My personal favorite is that guitar, of course. Look at it. But just as true a madness starts, the more you look at this model, the more you see the detail. From the realistic hair to the kaleidoscope pattern on the data pad on the arm, through to the backpack and those skulls, this model is gorgeous. In at number six then is Chris Hill's Plague Marine. What can we say? This is one of the most detailed Plague Marines that we have seen in a long time and well deserving to be in the top 10. Chris stays away from any of the newfangled 3D sculpting work and instead chooses to go old school with his green stuff sculpting skills. That coupled with this paint job 
all of the rust, the subtle blends from the dark green through to the yellow, to the oranges, to the browns. It's just beautiful. A masterclass in how to do Nurgle Marines. We're halfway through the list and the Chaos Gods. Gary Young's Corn Berserker here. And that red and brass colour scheme is just to die for. I love how Gary's been able to marry in several different McFarlane models into this piece without anybody noticing at all. Copple that then with a bit of green stuff work and some lovely 3D sculpts and you have yourself the angriest of Angron's boys. Rounding off the last of the Chaos Gods is somebody you're probably actually all familiar with. This is Joe Allbar, otherwise known on YouTube as Blinded by Daylight. You've probably seen this video and it is a masterclass on how to convert. There is no 3D work on this. Everything here is done by hand and my God, it's gorgeous. From the sculpts through to the paint job, this is a true masterclass in how to convert up McFarlane's. Nice one, Joe. Liam Patterson's Son of Prospero comes in at number three then. This is another of Magnus's chosen boys from the pre-heresy era this time. Yet again, all of this is done with sculpting as opposed to 3D work and it shows off. I particularly like on this the candy red paint that he's been able to achieve. Such a beautiful model. And then all of the small details that are in here from the backpack through to the bolter. Lovely, lovely work. Next on the list is Roy Marsh's White Scars and proving that young bucks can hang with big dogs. This model is gorgeous. Now, despite me not choosing this, this was chosen by the community. White Scars was the very first model that I did for these McFarlane's and he has outdone himself here. This model is gorgeous. And look at these photos, amazing work. Well done, Roy. And last on the list is Simon Cook's Howling Banshee. This is a textbook example of madness at work. This model has been reworked from a Sisters of Battle, although you wouldn't know it. You would look at this and think it was an original by McFarlane. Every inch of this model has been stripped down and reworked. I think the weapons and the helmet are just about the only parts that are 3D printed and the rest is done just by green stuff. It's an amazing piece and well worthy of rounding out our top 10. I wish that I could have featured so many more, but we had to limit it to 10. There are loads of honorable mentions here in the video and loads more out there for you guys to explore. There we go then guys and girls, that was the top 10 McFarlane Space Marine conversions of 2021. Let me know in the comments which one of those was your favourite. Don't worry if you weren't featured, 2022 is going to hold loads more Warhammer races for McFarlane to release. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Finally, I'd just like to take the time to mention as well, the channel does have a Patreon page. If you have been enjoying the videos, all support is greatly appreciated. A massive thanks goes to all of my Patreons, without which these videos just would not be possible. So thanks to them. Thanks to you guys as well for watching. Stay safe. Keep hobbying. Merry Christmas to you all. And I'll see you in 2022.